Today I'm going to show you how to make a five ingredient crock pot recipe that your entire family is going to love. We are making crock pot drumsticks. My favorite thing about this super easy recipe is that it is so affordable. Drumsticks are always the most affordable protein when I go to the store and my kids love this recipe every time I make it. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm with eatingonadime.com. You can get today's recipe linked in the description below. All right, let me show you guys how easy this is. First, you will need some drumsticks for this recipe. Now, if you haven't made chicken drumsticks in the crock pot yet, I highly recommend it because it makes them so tender and they literally fall off the bone. They're so good. And make sure you watch to the end of this video because we give you our secret tip to bring out the best flavor in these drumsticks. I know you're gonna love it. Okay, I'm using three pounds drumsticks for this recipe. Go ahead and just put them right into your crock pot. I am using a six quart crock pot today. Whoop. An eight quart would work as well. You just pretty much want it big enough to hold the amount of drumsticks that you are going to make. You, if you're not a dark meat chicken fan, you could probably use, you definitely could use chicken breast in this recipe, but I also think it would be delicious with bone in chicken thighs as well. So use whatever you have in your refrigerator or whatever is the best price point at the grocery store. That's what I like to do. Now we're gonna make the seasoning mixture for the drumsticks. First off, you need some paprika, about a tablespoon of paprika. I like to mix these seasonings together in a small bowl just to make sure that it evenly gets distributed onto the drumsticks and it works great. Then we're gonna need a little bit of cumin, a teaspoon of cumin, and then also a teaspoon of garlic salt. This really brings out the flavor. If they do not have garlic salt in your area, go ahead and add about a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a half of a teaspoon of traditional salt and that will work great for this recipe. Go ahead and just mix it together. It makes similar to like what a rub, but we're gonna use this in our crock pot and we're still gonna get all that delicious flavor. Now we are going to sprinkle the seasoning mixture over the drumsticks and rub it in a bit. You can use your hands or a basting brush. We just wanna make sure that it gets onto the skin of these drumsticks. So I'm just using a basting brush today and it works great. And then if you, you wanna make sure that you get that seasoning on all of the drumsticks. So just move them around as needed to get it all on there because it adds so much flavor to these drumsticks. Perfect. Next, add in some barbecue sauce. For this recipe, you need about a cup and a half of barbecue sauce. Just use whatever is already in your refrigerator or your favorite kind. We are gonna go ahead and pour in one cup in the, into the crock pot right now, and then we wanna save the other half a cup for the end. So don't forget, make sure you stay and watch and get that secret trip, trip tip to bring out the most flavor in these drumsticks. Perfect. Go ahead and cover the crock pot and we are going to cook this on low for about four to five hours until the chicken is tender and it's just starting to fall off the bone but is not completely yet.
Once they're nice and browned, you're wanting it to be looking like this. That's perfect right there. Go ahead and flip them. We want the other side to match. I usually just do this real quick out of the oven just to save time, but you can put this out on your counter and a working surface if you prefer. Oops. And just brush that opposite side with any leftover barbecue sauce that you have because it's the barbecue sauce that really caramelizes when it's broiling, so that's where all the flavor is going to come from. Then broil the other side for three to four minutes as well, just so they match the other brown side of the drumsticks. Once the other side is broiled, they are done and ready to eat. Then they are ready to serve. The best thing about this recipe is you can serve this as a appetizer, you can serve it as a snack, and you can serve it as a meal for your family. This is a perfect, easy weeknight meal. I usually just serve these over rice. Uh, I love it. It's The flavor is great with rice, but you could also make some pan fried potatoes would be delicious. A baked potato would be awesome. Um, just some easy sides that I know your family is going to love with this recipe. So when you're making this, think about how many people will be eating them. Generally for a meal, it's about two to three drumsticks per person, depending on how much they eat. Now my kids are generally just about two drumsticks where my husband will probably eat three or four. So this recipe is really easy to adapt to the number that you need for your family. We have linked the full recipe in the description. In that link, you can find how to store your leftovers, um, nutritional information, and tips and tricks to make sure that this works out perfectly for your family every single time. Do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss any more of our easy, family-friendly recipes. And thank you so much for joining me today in my sister's kitchen, and I will see you next time. My favorite part about these drumsticks is that they are finger foods. Bye friends, I'll see you later. Mm.